Hi, I'm here in my spa, and I'm here today with Jesse to talk to you about two of the main ingredients used to kill acne-causing bacteria, um, salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. I want to talk to you a little bit about both ingredients and uh, what I think is best to use. Salicylic acid is derived from willow bark. Willow bark is actually the same um, properties that is used for aspirin, so it has really great anti-inflammatory ingredients, um, and it's gonna help calm the inflammation and the redness that is caused from the acne. And then the salicylic acid, um, which is a beta hydroxy acid, is gonna help kill the bacteria, and it's gonna gently exfoliate and like dislodge the oil and the debris stuck in the follicle. Um, it does this in a much more gentle way, in a non-drying way. Conversely, benzoyl peroxide is a bactericide, and it's super drying. It can cause a lot of irritation and redness and inflammation. Um, and it usually, um, you'll see quicker results from it, but the problem is, is that it's just drying it out. And so at the end of the day, what's gonna happen is, is you're actually compounding the problem. I'm not a huge fan of benzoyl peroxide unless you have an allergy to salicylic. Um, if you do have an allergy to salicylic, you want to find a benzoyl peroxide that's formulated with hydrators like an iaminoside or hyaluronic acid to reduce some of that drying effect. Because what happens is when you dry out a pimple and dry out your skin, your skin goes into an overproduction of oil. And so you're only going to compound your problem. So using benzoyl peroxide sparingly um, and also making sure that you're using the appropriate water-based moisturizer every time you apply it on your face. So some of the other reasons that I'm not a huge fan of benzoyl peroxide, on top of it really drying your skin, is it can actually bleach your sheets and it makes you a lot more sensitive to the sun. So if you're using a benzoyl peroxide and you're headed out for the day in the sun, you could possibly uh, get a sunburn more, uh, more easily than if you're using a salicylic acid. One of the other um, skin conditions that is actually really great for salicylic acid is eczema. And many of you, many of you may know that I suffer from pretty severe eczema. And sometimes I'll use a salicylic acid cleanser on my eczema to help calm the inflammation. So typically, salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide are used for oily and acneic skin, but I've also found that it works really well to calm inflammation on sensitive skin conditions like eczema. Um, another thing that I find is people that have oily and acneic skin, a lot of my clients tell me that they feel like they're both oily and dry. That's an exfoliation issue, and that's why you need to make sure you're using a peel on a weekly basis in conjunction with either your salicylic acid or your benzoyl peroxide. The reason why your skin feels dry is because you have a ton of dead skin. So there's a couple things going on. The dead skin is creating that dryness, um, and, uh, and then more importantly, it's not allowing product to penetrate. So even if you are using these active ingredients like salicylic acid and BPO, if you aren't properly exfoliating, it's not penetrating to actually give you the maximum benefit to clear up the congestion and kill the acne causing bacteria. So making sure that you're regularly exfoliating is gonna not only help clear up the dryness, but it's also gonna benefit you extremely in terms of being able to clear up the acne with getting a significant product penetration. Whether you choose to use salicylic acid, clearly my preference, or benzoyl peroxide, just make sure you're using them properly and make sure that you have the right moisturizer um, and using a peel with them once or twice a week to get the maximum benefit. And let us know in the comments below what products you use to treat your acne and subscribe to our YouTube channel.